Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another Paracord tutorial for you today. Continuing the Zodiac line with uh, the work of none, none other than uh, Cetus 550. Pavel's doing great work and it's my honor to translate his uh, picture tutorial for today's lesson. And we're doing the Virgo Paracord bracelet. That's this pattern here. So looks very nice. Quite simple to do this one. Doing it on the uh, buckles and it is a two strand core. Something we haven't done in a little while. And overall, yeah, I love the way this one turned out. I had some stitching on this one at some point, but yeah, this is what we're doing. So remember to check out Pavel uh, c 550 his Instagram feed down below. I will um, have a link down there. And remember to check out all those affiliate links down below for where to get the paracord and all the good stuff I use in the video. Guys, if you like what I do, also feel free to check out my Patreon. Uh, got some really big changes coming there very soon, so get in while you can. Maybe get some early access, but who knows? I'm going to do a video about that next week. More to come. All right, so uh, that being said, let's get into the tutorial video. Okay, so to do this Virgo paracord bracelet, we're using a two-strand core this time. I haven't done that in a while. Again, got the double cow stitch method. Of course, if you don't know how to do that setup, check my uh, links down below. So this one is quite simple and uh, pattern is very nice to look at. And you can also change the spacing in which the knots um, are spaced out on the bracelet. So that's up to you, but more on that in a bit. So let's start this out. I'm always gonna start with the left strand first. So I'm gonna cross them over left, over top, and then right over top like this. Now from here, I'm gonna take the right strand we're going to go behind, go through the middle, bring that out and to the right. And then on this side, we do the same thing. Take the left strand, bring that through the middle, then out and to the left. Okay, so we kind of got set up like this. This is where you should be. And then now we're going to take the strand on the right. We're going to go through the middle again from the front and bring it out and to the right. Okay. So just try to clear it up for you. That's through this loop here on the right. And then we're going to do the same thing on this left side. Oops, sorry about that. Take the left strand, put it through the middle, out through the left. So that might have been a little confusing, but we'll go through it again in a sec. And then when you go to tighten this one, you can kind of just pull on these outer loops here, pull those up and then pull them, pull the excess out there. Okay, and form up that knot like so. Okay, so let's try that again. Maybe I'll, won't use as much slack this time so you can see. So uh, again, left strand over the core, right strand over that. So I'm just going to bend the cord through this. I'm not going to go through um, the, the end. So take the right strand, bring it through the middle and out towards that side like so. And then again with this strand on the left, put that, bend it through the middle. So I'm above these cords here and bring it out to the other side like so. Okay, and then now from here, maybe it's a little more clear this time. Yeah, bring this cord through the middle and out that loop on the right there. See? And then this side, bring this cord down through the middle and out this loop on the left here. Okay, so get those cinched up and then again I'm going to pull on these two loops here and pull that a bit more shut 
There you go. So, so I'm gonna hold the knots here, pull, hold the knots here, pull. Okay. So that I think is pretty simple, and that is the pattern. So let's do one more. Let's go again. Left over the middle, right over the middle. Bring this out through the middle from back to front. And again on this side, bring this through the middle, back to front. Easy way to think of it from this point is that the cord goes uh, from here through the middle and then just out the side like that. Right? So it goes down through the middle and out through the side. So again, down through the middle, out to the side. Down through the middle, and out through the side. Pretty simple. Okay, so that is the pattern. Now one thing I want to mention, now that I've tied about three knots, I also try to keep an even amount of tension on these knots so that they're not, some are larger than the others. So now one thing you'll notice with this pattern is, see I can push up and the knots will be nice and tight, like spaced together and no gaps in the middle. Or if you pull on them a little bit, you can create a bit of space like so. So you can do this throughout your bracelet and keep these knots evenly spaced and um, it'll just create a different look. So if you don't like having gaps in your bracelet, just after every knot, push everything up like that so it's nice and you know together. Or if you do like having that space in between, just pull down a bit and you can space them out like that. So I'm gonna just have mine pretty much like that. I'm not a huge fan of having a gaps in between but that's up to you and you'll probably use less cord if you have them spaced out obviously okay so that is the pattern and let's continue tying down our bracelet All right, so I wove all the way down to the end here. And um, just a pro tip here, uh, when you get to the end, if you're, you've got a little bit of gap left, just spread those knots out because say you don't have enough space left to do, say a, a second, a last knot, and you've got just a little bit space left. You can just space out these knots a little bit, try to get them uh, as even as possible. That way they'll look nice. So I did end up with a little bit of gap in between the knots, but it turned out fine. So I'm just gonna snip and singe the uh, excess paracord here and we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it guys, we are done. Snipped and singed off that excess paracord. Bracelet looks fine. Okay, so this has been another one in the Zodiac series by uh, Cetus550. Pavel's doing great work, so I love trans translating his uh, picture tutorials to video. And uh, yeah, this was the Virgo paracord bracelet. Guys, remember to check out my affiliate links down below and where to get all the paracord and good stuff I use in the video. Also, if you like what I do, feel free to support me on Patreon. Got some big rewards coming very, very soon. I'm going to do a new video about that next week. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.